Well, get ready to have your mind blown because this morning we are talking to a real life rocket scientist. Olympia LaPointe helped launch 28 space shuttle missions while working with NASA. She has a degree in mathematics, a master's in applied mathematics. She's an author, a TED talker, and investigates, among other topics, overcoming the fear of math. She has a new scientific theory, because I guess that's what you do in your spare time, uh, on human decision making. And she details that in her latest book, Answers Unleashed Volume 2, The Science of Attracting What You Want. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to The Morning Show author and rocket scientist, Olympia LaPointe. <laughs> Thank you for, for joining us this morning. Uh, it is a pleasure to meet you. I, I wish I could just peel back that, that scalp and investigate what's going on in there. Um, you started this journey when you were six years old. How on earth? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having me on your show. It all began when I was six years old. I went to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, where I saw these beautiful jet engines and the mission controlled. And it was there where I told myself, I want to be just like the men that I saw on the wall in the picture that was launching rockets. And that was actually the start of my decision-making process of actually moving forward to the future that I wanted that I talk about in my latest book. But when you're six, do you even have have the the wisdom to know that this is going to involve math did you like math at a time well it, it was interesting because uh, there's they when i was young i didn't realize the challenges i was going to face as a woman of color going through this process of eventually launching rockets i didn't understand that mathematics and understanding mathematics was going to be needed i didn't understand or know that the challenges I was going to face with educating people on diversity. And I didn't understand necessarily at the time that my decisions counted, the way mm -hmm. that I thought counted. And in my entire life, I had to go through this journey, figuring out how to reprogram my mind from uh, the fears that I experienced before and how I could actually move forward towards what I wanted. And throughout all my journey, I just decided I'm going to write about what I learned. Mm -hmm. In my first book, Mathophobia, I learned uh, how to overcome my fear of mathematics. And so in my first book, Mathophobia, I write about how uh, I had to read format and change the way that I was thinking about uh, numbers, which allowed me to see that fear has certain names and yeah. I name them. And, and, the, then, yeah, and my, then that sort of disarms them. You, yeah. you clearly understand a lot now because in your journey, you worked on yeah. shuttle launches when you worked at NASA. You're like the real life hidden figures. How did you make that jump of math phobia to NASA, to NASA and, and, and being a part of the team that, that worked with space? Uh, that is such a a, a, a great um, story. Um, originally, I graduated from California State University, Northridge, in mathematics. And one of my uh, friends from the math class was working at the Boeing company at the time. And I asked him about what he was doing there. And he said he was using math. And I'm like, oh, the ability to use math on real life situations and not just a book? I'm, I'm in. Tell me how to do it. And so <laughs> I went to the company and I first started in, um, it was more like accounting type of work, but I found my, my, niche because they were my my role because mm -hmm. there was th only two people at the company who could do the type of mathematics in which I did in which was reliability system safety statistician type of work and that was uh calculating the probability of catastrophic um explosions within launch and preventing them How and is so that I'm all <laughs> <laughs> It, 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 I worked with some great mentors there, and I eventually uh, uh, got to a level yeah. and level and level and level where I was sitting and supporting a mission control, and that was one of the most brilliant experiences I think I've ever had, uh, knowing that I'm helping keep people safe at the time when mm -hmm. I was launching rockets, keeping people's lives safe during space launches, and, it, and that is, is very meaningful to me. It's, it's really so remarkable what you do and when you wake up in the morning what what thoughts are floating around in your brain because that alarm goes off and I'm like oh I can't wait to have a cup of coffee D do you see like numbers in your head are you like little man Tate as it's just like a everything slows down and you just have algorithms <laughs> well do you know what they 
uh, people will ask me that question. The answer is no. I probably never see numbers in my head. I see patterns. Oh. I see what what's from what I've seen happen before. What more than likely is going to happen again? And in in studying the sciences and technology, engineering, mathematics, I actually can see patterns before they happen. And it's it's kind of like um, I. I learned to be able to see the future before it happens. And, and so I write about that in my latest book is how to actually start seeing these patterns and start making the decisions so you have the patterns working your favor. And of this, and you're talking I, about I quantum that. deciding, yes? Yes, yes. Uh, quantum deciding uh, is what I talk about in my latest book, Answers Unleashed 2. And it's six basic decisions that everyone can make on a daily basis for the future that they want. Uh, this, this quantum deciding is making decisions on faith, making decisions on your identity, making decisions on, uh, for example, the how you use your resources, how you learn, and your relationships and, and your intent. And so when we make decisions, waking up every single morning, noticing the patterns, and I never look at like numbers mm -hmm. per se on a daily basis, but look at the patterns and look at how are my decisions falling in line with the pattern of what I want. Right then that uh, unlocks the door for us to actually create the future that we want. And uh, Olympia, that's what, what I did in my life. Olympia, what was more frightening, working in, in NASA and making sure that no one died going up into space or giving a TED Talk? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Such a question. Such a question. Do you know what? Both were nerve-wracking. <laughs> Both were nerve-wracking. <laughs> All right. But uh, in the TED Talk, I thought to myself, I'm not going to care what people think. I'm right. just going to share with the information that I learned. And I'm really going to just make sure that I, I am I'm given this opportunity and I'm going to share knowledge so people can succeed. And so that was my thinking. I love it. Thank you so much, Olivia. Olympia LaPointe. I'm, I'm flabbergasted at all the stuff that you do. Thank you so much. Continued success. And if you want to check out her book, just head over to the link listed right on the screen. Take care. Thank you. Keep seeing patterns. Come visit us in New York. Share some of your brain, please. I could, I'd like to, right there. Aww. Thank if you. I could give you a hug, I could. I know, I would too. <laughs> Thanks so much.